Czy masz odwagę powiedzieć żono, że stałem tam, gdzie stało z domu? Hi guys, and this is a, another video from a prepare to travel. When you go, just go to an airport, you need to follow a few tips and it will be much easier and more comfortable for you. First of all, arrive early on the airport. Remember that you need to travel there. So, if, if you travel by bus, by train or whatever, by a public transport, arrive at least one hour before, before your check-in time. On each airline you will have information how long before you have to you should be on the airport. Usually there's two hours before a short haul flight and three hours before long haul flight. Long haul flight this is a flight abroad of the European Union. Short haul flight is a flight inside the European Union. If a flight is, has interconnection in the European Union and goes uh, abroad, the whole flight is uh, long haul. So it's going to be at least two hours or three hours before your uh, boarding time. Add one hour to the I always add one hour. So I arrive on the airport three hours before a short haul and four hours before for long haul. Why? If I go to an airport by a public transport like S-Bahn, which is S-Bahn, which is a subway here, or I go by a, by a bus, or uh, by some coach, by some coach or uh, some train or any other type of public transport, I need to go from that station, from a, from a bus station, coach station, or from a parking lot, or from a railway station, I need to go from there to a terminal. So I need a time to take my luggage from a, co from a coach, and to go to a terminal. I don't want to hurry, I don't want to be on the last time, I just want to have a time, especially that when I go to a terminal, I want to eat some better from a better thing, because we have a better thing on a, uh, in the entrance to a terminal. I want to go to a better thing, I want to eat something, I want to use a restroom, so before I will drop my luggage. So it's a great idea. If I go by car, I also go one hour before the time, so three hours before the short haul and four hours before the long haul. Why? Because from a parking lot to a terminal building is also some distance and you need to walk with your luggage. It takes a time and you don't want to be too late. So, And you need to go there, you need to close your car, you need to turn on or uh, check if, if it's everything turned off, lights, and that you have taken everything from a trunk. It's important to check that you have everything with you and you have a forgot, forgotten something. So it's important you need to go to an elevator, to, from, a, from a parking door to an to exit. From an exit you need to walk uh, to a terminal building. And it's, it's a distance, and the luggage is heavy, so it takes time. So it's the best idea to be one hour before. Then, it's a great idea to if you want to eat, if you have the time, eat something, you have a better thing there, go to a restroom, do what you need to do in, in, the, in the bathroom time, go there, take your time, do everything, because then you will need to go to a luggage drop. Luggage drop area is opened about two hours before the short haul and three hours before long haul. Look on the screen and check your flight number. There will be a counter number. Uh, Near that, so you need to it will be flight number, hour, destination, and the counter number. Counter number is a place where you need to drop your luggage, so you need to find that uh, counter. which is a place where you drop your um, check in luggage. You need to go there, then you will need to look on the screen on the top of that counter. There will be information on the airline, flight number, and destination. There will be a separate place for a check, uh, economy check in, business check in, and a separate for a only drop luggage for the people who might have checked in before on the on the app or website. So we need to go there. We need to show your boarding pass if you have made check in before or 
your ticket if you didn't. You need to show your passport and then you can leave your luggage there. The white will be checked and your, and then your check-in luggage will be taken to an aircraft. From that place you need to go to a security control. In the most air airports there are separate lines for a for the people with economic class and a business class. All flights have the same check-in security control point, but it's separated between economy and business. In the, in Berlin, Berlin International Airport, there's a separate, which is called BER, Bear, Bear Runway. And Bear Runway, this is a separate, pre-reserved slot. When you make your check-in uh, on your airline website, it's usually a great idea to go to a Berlin, Berlin Bush International Airport website and reserve the time for a, a special better runway um, security control, which is really great. Which is really great, it just takes less time, it's much faster. And from that place, you go through a, a um, special shop, duty free shop. Through and we go through the free shop, you will be in a transit area. This is a common transit area. If you will, if you will need to go, uh, to go on to a non shared area, you will need to follow special sign to go to a. There will be information. You go through that shop after security control. You go through that duty free shop. You know, again, you need on your on a screen and you go for your flight number, and then there will be a date number. If we are going to a non-Schengen flight, these days will be separated from a Schengen area flights. So we just need to follow way to your uh, gate number. And there will also information is, is it boarding, boarding started? So you should go to your gate as, as fast as possible. Or if the boarding is not started at the moment, so we need to go slowly and take some food or eat something. If you need to go to a restroom, after situation control, this is a place where you should go to a restroom certain time. Before the next possible uh, option to use a restroom will be in the aircraft when you after after take off. So it's a better idea to go to a restroom certain time at in this at that moment. But you should be well organized. So uh, when you are in security control, put your uh, carry on luggage on a special shelf and go f through that really, really fast, smooth and without any problem. Be, be well prepared because there are a lot of people waiting on the airport or a lot of people are going in the same place. So um, don't make a mess, be, be fast, be, be polite to people and everything will be, everyone will be polite to you. Everyone wants to make your travel more comfortable and everyone wants to have Good, good trip. So just go there and be, first of all, be prepared. If you are well prepared, remember that if you are traveling with older people, with children, or with people who don't speak in, who don't speak English, it can take a little longer. So it's very important to help them go smooth. And of course, you need to do it in the right way. So it's really, 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 really simple. Just remember to be that one hour more bef before so if you want to, you have to be two hours or three be three or four one hour more and you will have a time for everything and everything will go right way thanks for watching and i'm gonna catch you later <laughs> Ty dziś się martwisz gra